what y'all doing changing it up it's a real pretty day i want to sit in front of my window take a gander gotta get this hot hair off though my hair's hot but then my body's cold i'm going through it y'all <laughs> By the way, I can't get captions to work. Hopefully it works on this. I can't tell. Obviously I'm recording and then I can find out if captions work. So if you see it on here, it's working again. I don't know what it is. Um, this past couple weeks, it's just not been working. On and off. Get it together. Listen. Now listen, I know what you're thinking. Why aren't we just gonna use these? I am gonna use this one, but these are two very interesting colors that I have not seen. We're just going to use this one today. I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I say that and then we're going to have a butterfly painted on our face. But wait, I want to use this one eventually. Look at this. That's an eye paint. You don't normally see them in this gorgeous burgundy color. Oof. And it has a little bit of very light shimmer, but look at this color. <laughs> this is the one we're about to use. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so these are from Armani, but these are just the two most special colors. They have other ones, but they're definitely ones that we have, and we have them um, in more affordable versions. We're going to grab Capulets just to lay down a really quick base. No eyeshadow primer with these. And a lot of you asked why we used eyeshadow primer yesterday with those eyeshadow sticks, and I normally don't recommend it. And the reason why is because I was going with the recipe. And by recipe, I mean the um, everything that Hung used. And he had used it, so I wanted to make sure it was super authentic. And also, just wanted to remind you why we didn't tap yesterday. I did explain it, but I want to explain it again. So with that shadow stick that we were using yesterday from Rare Beauty. It's a very, I don't, difficult is not the word that sounds like a negative, but it's a very, um, it's a formula that doesn't want to move because the moment it hits your skin, it's wanting to dry. It's not even a liquid like this. So you need to be a little bit more forceful. So that's why we were doing those buffing motions with that stick instead of the tapping ones. These are more delicate. These liquids, powders, they're more delicate. So we want to be a little bit more delicate with them. I hope this formula goes on as nicely as the About Face ones. Remember, we don't want anything here. We don't need anything. That's so pretty. Feels very thin. Of course, I've swatched these, but I haven't put them on my eye yet. It's really pretty. I'm going to tap the edge here into Capulets. I don't mind if it stays a little bit defined, but I did want to just kind of melt it a little. Pretty. I'm going to layer it up just a little bit more. Just kind of seeing how far we can go with them. I'll just layer it up through the center. accident there. You never saw it. It's really pretty. I feel like if the extreme flips are a little too much for you, but you still kind of want to play around with it, this would be a really good option. And again, um, I haven't seen a color like this. I haven't. And, I, and what I mean by that in a more affordable brand. So let's see how, let's see how this progresses. Don't run out and get it. It could crease and turn to absolute chaos. Let's just smudge a little bit of this Milani situation. This is their Gilded Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Lily. Oh, this is what it looks like. Right there it is. This is, this is chaos. So let's just throw this on just a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. This may have a little bit of depth to the lash line. It glides on very nicely. You know what? I'm not loving this. I'm not loving it. I've gotten spoiled. Well, that's good though. Cause these are spicy priced. I wonder how this one's gonna, 
this one's gonna wear. This one feels different than this one. I always, I almost knew this one was gonna give me a little bit of issues because of that pearl in there. And it looks a little, now that it's dry, it's kind of clinging, I, this, I, I did this a lot. But the way it's clinging to the hair, this particular color, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of caking up around the hairs, but this one isn't. Yeah, you can see that difference. Yeah. So this one doesn't feel, by this one, I mean the one that's on my lid, it doesn't feel like it's thin enough to lay evenly. But you know, we learn from these. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take our finger. I have nothing on here. We're just gonna smooth this off a little bit. Yeah, that comes off too easily too. I feel like this formula, this formula wasn't thought about enough. It didn't get the love and the thought that it deserved. Okay, that's good. That should be enough just to smooth it off. Wipe that on Sheila. And really quickly, where I'm really focusing on kind of rubbing that away is where it was creasing because that's where my eye naturally moves the most. But that's just, that's all we're doing. We're just moving that from there. And then I'm gonna go find something and we'll put it on top. Probably one of these, because these don't let me down. <laughs> nah, it was just too crunchy. I took a little micellar water on my ring finger and I just kind of went across here. <laughs> this stuff is so smooth, I love it. Same thing over here. Can't be having crunchy legs. But all you do is just take the smallest amount. Let me show you how much, that's important. This one right here, the Bioderma, love it. Okay, I just have a little bit here and I just tap my little ring finger in. That's all I did. That's actually a little too much. Just tap it on the back of your hand. And then I just tapped with my ring finger. We do wanna be gentle. And then I just kind of pulled it down and it all went away. That was <laughs> really easy to get off. It was one to come off, it was trying to run away. But see? Sometimes things, they just don't work out. Not that we wanted that one to work out. That's a spicy prize. <laughs> now, this color makes me happy. Let's put this on. This one is in the shade La Zona Rosa. Ah, smooth. That's pretty. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm going to use a short, dense brush with this one. We'll use our C31. Just going to smooth that out. Oh, that's so pretty. So smooth. Dougie snoring. Jean Beans with his granny. Oh, this is gonna be fun. By the way, I've even tried restarting my phone and doing all kinds of things to get these captions to work. I don't know what it is. IG did do an update today, but maybe it was the update we didn't need. <laughs> uh, now I know this might be horrifying, but it's gonna be fun. This is definitely a color that we're gonna have to trust the process. Such a pretty color. It's one of those colors that I look at and automatically makes me happy. It's fun to watch it blend too. Sometimes you just gotta semi start over. It does happen. But there are ways to do it to where we don't have to freak out. I used to freak out when I had to change things like this. It would scare me to death and having to think, thinking that I needed to start completely over, but you really don't. It's just about knowing how much micellar water to use. to not even use um, a wipe. A wipe could be way too much. Now, this is really gonna be pretty because we're gonna keep this around. We're not gonna put it away yet because now I wanna use it for blush and a mustache. <laughs> you know what else I wanna do today? I wanna do gel liner. I haven't done gel liner in a long time. I just gotta go find some. I love gel liner. I think we should bring back gel liner. It's actually, when, when you find the right texture, and sometimes you have to have a mixing medium to continue that texture, um, gel liner can be really, really easy, long lasting, and just all over a good time. <laughs> this is one of my favorites and has been for years. This was from Pretty Vulgar. 
and I'm gonna do a drippity drop of my Inglot Duraline. You can get this on Amazon, it's very inexpensive. Just do one drop, then you gotta look down in here. <laughs> and then we're just going to swirl that around. And then I'm gonna show you the consistency that it needs to be. It's kind of a nice sound. And then, see how it comes out? That's a little bit too much on the brush. Right consistent consistency, but too uneven on the brush. In fact, that's so good. Okay, now that, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. Okay, look at that. That is what it needs to look like. Very even across the brush. Now I do like this angled liner. I really love an angled liner for it, Joel, because we're gonna hold it pretty far back and then it's just going to be at an angle, see that? Now also notice how my eyes are pretty relaxed. And I just feel like there's a shape that I can get. Don't forget, if we need to pick up more, we just pick up more. It's right here on the back of my hand. It's not gonna dry too quickly because of that Inglot Duraline. Oh, I forgot to tag that. Let me tag that for y'all here. Sorry, I'm getting excited. But there, I feel that there's just a different shape I can get when I use gel liner and a brush as opposed to using liquid liner. Love both, just different vibes. Probably gonna thicken this up a little bit more. I wanna let you learn this as well. Whenever you're doing a liner, like this, I want you to just focus on that top line uh, being smooth and being perfect. Do not worry about underneath here. That's gonna be the easiest to fix. I want you to focus mostly on the top part of the line. So when we're out here, I mean, it doesn't, we'll clean that up. Just, just focus mainly on the top. Ooh, that's gonna be nice, but we have to clean it up. Now, let's start to clean this up. We got micellar water here on our C30. Whee. Makeup is so much fun. You didn't hear anything, Douglas. I do not need you to start your squawkies. Get them squawkies under control. I'm gonna clean up here too. This wing I have on reminds me of my 2016 wing. I'm having some fun. So I'm gonna use lashes that I would have used then. These are Iconic Light from House of Lashes. I'm just, woo, I love it. That's fun. I'm gonna let them dry just a little bit more and then we're gonna take our little pinchers here. These are also from House of Lashes. Um, I'm just wiping them on my makeup towel. I wipe them every time. That way we don't get glue, because if there's too much glue on here, it'll just pull that lash off. But what I'm gonna do is start to pinch that now that that lash is drying. And I'm, all I'm doing is I'm pinching my actual lashes into the faux lash. I'm not putting glue on my real lashes. I'm just making sure that you don't see that separation. By the way, Gene made his way in here. He's just laying in his bed purring, because he's precious. Douglas is next to him. They just sleep together while I do makeup. <laughs> I've already done a look today, so I'm going to go back here with my skin prep. And whenever I reset, and what reset means is I've already done my makeup, so I'm not gonna just go in and do my full skincare routine, my morning routine again. I'm just gonna reset really quickly just so we can finish our look. So we have our morning matrix here from Elemis. I just use this as primer. I've been using it, I don't even know over a year, Phil. Time flies. My Anissa Beauty brush. I love this one if you're balanced or dry, but the L'Occitane, I love that one if you're a combination oily. I'm also gonna put on my eye cream. I, I really like to show this because it's important and it's another reason I do my eyes first. If you're ever wondering why I don't do foundation because we can have even fallout from the mascara. I put mascara on before the falsies so that can happen and then you wanna wipe that away. I think that's some right there. See, chaos. So that's one of the reasons I always do my eyes first because things can happen and I want this under eye 
to be super hydrated and ready for concealer. Ooh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and tag the brushes separately. I love these. I know skincare brushes, you're like, what? Why would I need that? I'll tell you why. Magical. <laughs> Trust me, once you use a skincare brush, you're gonna be like, I love it, and I can't go back. I've been using those all three years, three and a half, almost four. I love them. L'Oreal True Match, we love this one. Shade I'm gonna use is C5. That match. It's just a smidge too light. I'm talking a whisper. Bronzer could fix that very, very quickly. Any lighter, we'd have to start mixing and uh, using our color correcting pigments just pretty nicely there but to the rest of my body it's a little too light but again bronzer is gonna add that depth that we need gotta work in sections I'm just gonna let this run because it's so satisfying I got everybody in the tri-state area and here snoring now extra there Actually, I forgot I wanted to use this. I do want to film a video with this. Um, I saw Glamzilla use it the other day and I was like, ooh, and I feel like it'll be so pretty with this look. Look how beautifully it matches. So I'm gonna hop off and film that in a second. We still gotta do our bronzer and we gotta, we got stuff to do. But again, I've used this as blush and it works perfectly. Actually, maybe Armani won't let us down today because look what they sent over. I've had these before and I've used them and I've loved them, but you know, things come out, we forget about things. Um, these are, there's two shades. These are their liquid sun situation, okay? I don't wanna call it a bronzer because it's so much more than that. You could use it uh, before makeup, you could drop it in makeup, you can, I'm about to use it like we would a liquid bronzer, but there's just so many ways. Look at this, look at that. It's, it, these are so much fun. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use that middle shade. That shade is going to be shade 100 and it's called the Luminous Silk Glow Liquid Bronzer. I'm just so upset that captions won't work. I even tried to restart my phone again. Make sure you shake this really, really nicely. The red line has SPF in it. And then even do this with the dropper a couple times. Little things like that make a difference. Also gonna do this before I do concealer in case it gets wild. I'm gonna do three drops. My <laughs> There's a napping and happening. They're very subtle, but they blend beautifully. I remember it like it was yesterday. Isn't that pretty? Blends like a dream. They feel like a serum going on. These I do remember. I believe the eye paints, those are all new shades. But this, this, I like this better than the Chanel one. Even when the Chanel one wasn't reformulated, this was so much better. I remember nobody talked about this one. I'm talking to years ago, I had a sample. Don't be thinking I had this whole situation. I had a little sample. It's beautiful, it's just as beautiful as I remember. But another thing that's really cool, I'm gonna have to do three more drops, so three and three. But another thing that's really cool, it's, it's so multi-purpose and I like that when a product is very expensive. So at least we have that benefit. It's not just a cream bronzer or a liquid bronzer. It's thin enough to mix with foundations and concealers. Bronze that nose, bronzing, not contouring because it's still too warm for that. All I'm doing here is I'm not really shaping. I'm just making sure that that nose is a very similar color to the perimeter here. We don't want the nose to just be a, kind of just sitting there with no product on it. Just a little bit, look how beautifully that blends. These are fun. Nice. Now with what's left, we could even just do a little tippy tap across there. I'm gonna grab a little bit more. everything's nice and cohesive. Now we're gonna do our concealer. Tasha Denona. This one's R4. 
I switch between R4 and R5. Honestly, I'm, on the reason I do this, because I'm trying to see if there's that big of a difference and there's not. So I have my little setup over here by the window and then I have my setup over there and I just keep the R4 or R5 or I switch them out. I, there's just not enough difference for me to care. <laughs> but the formula is a 10 out of 10 and I do recommend. It needed a song. So nice. Oh, and that that would be so good. Say this isn't too light for me, um, but say it was, we could have just added a tiny little drop to it, and something this thin. Again, just so multi-purpose. Let's use our Givenchy powder. I'm actually going to use shade four, which isn't pink, but. I'm gonna grab a super pink powder in just a second and I kind of want to start a transition, but I didn't want my absolute under eye here to be pink because I am going to put a little bit of this and too much pink under there, I don't know. It might be cute, but let's try it this way. So just so y'all know, I can wear shade three and shade four. This Again, this is shade four. And I actually, like shade four a little more in the summer because sometimes shade three can be a little too light on me. So I switch back and forth, just making sure that this is all nice and smooth. Just, just chatting a little, it can crease. Nice. Now let me go get that Jones Road powder. And since this one isn't pink, I actually set the rest of the face with it. And that looks really nice. And by rest of the face, I don't even mean just the center. I mean, oh, that's my elbow. <laughs> I mean the rest of the face. Actually, let's finish the lash line first. So instead of going in with this, that might be too much. I'm gonna tap the wand with our E27. Just to be fair to the blush, I'm gonna film the blush in just a second, but I didn't wanna add any pink on here because I want this to really come through the way it is. So we'll do that after. In the meantime, what are we putting on our lips? Oh, I do have a new lip liner. Pick this up. I love these. I don't know if that's gonna be the right color. They're already holding it up. It's a little too orange, but I love, yeah, it's a little too warm for what I'm wanting to do. But this formula, this Line Wow by NYX, it's my favorite lip liner from the drugstore now. It's a 10 out of a 10, love it. In fact, I think it's comparable to my more high-end lip liners. I just think they're incredible. Now I'm gonna get back down here. I don't know if y'all do this, but whenever I sit and do my makeup, I sit on my leg and I shouldn't because it goes to sleep and now I am in pain. Or am I? I don't know, I can't feel my leg. <laughs> I like where this is going. This is also from NYX. This is not, you will see this in a second. <laughs> I meant this is also from NYX, but this is a different one. This is their, this their more classic lip pencil and the shade is mauve. And I'm going to just swatch it first. I'm kind of seeing, I'll do a rough draft. It's gonna be easier to line once we get our gloss on. And I'm making sure that this is what we're wanting. Did y'all see that chaos? Ooh, and the heck? easy fix. There we go. All right. I like the color a lot. All right. Listen, I do want to talk about this. It is very important. I'm going to do something that might not be considered lip safe. And if you'll notice, I don't do this a lot. And the reason why is because I just want to be thoughtful of y'all. Um, there's no right or wrong. Artists do it all the time. And I just, I just try to kind of follow rules when it comes to that. And the reason why some lip, um, I'm sorry, some pigments aren't considered eye safe or lip safe and then vice versa. That being said, it, I, it's, it's not detrimental to your health instantly. It's just over time or you could have a reaction. So I just want to, I want to let y'all know, but I do want to use this on my lips. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to put this on my lips like that because this does touch my eye. So I'm going to put it on the back of my hand and then I'll just grab a C30, which I thought I already had out. 
mm -mm, you know how, th oh no I did, but you know how things run away here. So, so let's just go ahead and add this. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. I don't want to scare you. You could always research it a little bit more, but I used to do a lot of things where I would just use things that weren't technically lip safe. And then I thought about it and I just want to be more mindful for y'all. Again, it's not like it's the brink of death, but it's just something that I think about. Uh, I, I'll see creators take powder blush and put it on their lips and it's so pretty. And I'm like, I want to do that. But then I feel like I kind of lead an example. I just want y'all to just to be mindful. Just, just Google it, okay? Just Google things. And if you feel okay with it, do it. Just follow your makeup part. But just be mindful that not all pigments are lip and eye safe. I just don't want y'all to have a reaction. I think I want to leave the lip. I was going to put this gloss on it. And this gloss is so pretty. I'm going to keep it out so we remember to use it. I'll swatch it for you. But I like how soft it is. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, that color is just perfection. Julia's Place has really been doing it, okay? These recent lip launches, y'all are gonna love them. I'm doing this with natural sunlight and I have to keep following the sun. That way we don't have that. Whee! <laughs> this was fun. It's a little turbulent in there. But I, I love that sometimes. And the reason why is because that's going to happen and it's gonna happen on days that we don't have a lot of time. And I understand that. So I just want you to breathe and know that there's a way to fix it. It was so easy to take off and then we just keep going. We see we didn't have to take off our beautiful transition and here we are. I will say maybe don't attempt this giant bird wing I have going on here. <laughs> But for liquid shadows or really any mess ups, and I have lots of videos on that. I think I might need to start reposting a few of them. But I have a lot of videos on how to fix whoopsies. <laughs> you know what else I'm seeing? I'm seeing a lot of people going, oh my gosh, I forgot about those. So did I. I forgot. And then you could even mix this with your moisturizer. Um, I remember I used to use them so many different ways. But you know, times changed formulas start trending but i'm glad that they sent these back over so we can play with them i know they're spicy price and maybe we can find a dupe i will you know me i'm always trying because i know that we're all uh we just got our different makeup budgets and i get that but i'm glad they reminded me to look for something else like this but i do like these let me go film my little blush video and i'll be back okay i'm already back trying to model the blush <laughs> absolute goblin the shade is called confident pink and i did just film a little video about it and i talk about it a little bit more i think i'm just gonna go post it on tiktok right now it's the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear blush i'll have that labeled here okay that's gonna be it for today um this was fun it was nice to be in front of a window and see nature most of the time i just film and the room's completely dark that way the color temperature stays the same you'll, you'll notice from the beginning to now the color temperature is different and um you really want that color temperature to be consistent especially when it comes to makeup so it doesn't change so that's one of the reasons that i do film over there but i do want to film over here because i like the light the sunlight the nature <laughs> I love you all so much. I already posted today. I've been posting at noon. Um, that gives me even more time to film stuff. So yeah, don't miss that. And just know that I love you so much. I'm excited for tomorrow. Don't know what we're doing, but we're going to have some fun. I love you.